we are on the road and it is the start of a 300 mile road trip. That's right, we're going a long, long way in this little car. My name's Alex and over the past few weeks I've been trying to work out how I can travel the world in my tiny car. I managed to make some space for a bed. I also put in some storage boxes to keep my food, clothes and cooking equipment in. And I also have power from this incredibly heavy battery. But how long would I realistically be able to live in here? Well, I'm currently in the process of finding that out. We're actually crossing a border today. We're going into the country of Wales. This is gonna be the first border we've crossed in my absolutely incredible car conversion. I'm being very sarcastic. It's not incredible at all. It's, uh, it's a bodge, but we're gonna give it a go in some nice locations. No more McDonald's car park sleeping camping trips. We're going up in the world. And we're also gonna be eating better because I've got a couple of special meals to cook up over the next few days. So this morning I popped into the city to a food shop. Parking permit holders only? What the heck? You kidding? Look at all those mushrooms. So much food. Hello. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Anyway, we're on the road and I'm so excited. Ow. Although, look at the outlet. It's horrible. It's raining. I, I don't like it. It's, I want it. I want it to be summer and spring and and sunny. Oh yeah, let's go. Why does going into the woods make me so excited? It's like so atmospheric and the trees are huge. I love this. I've got to try and find a spot to camp now because it's getting late. I'm really hungry. That's a proper car. That's a Land Rover Defender. It's wicked. Right, we're going to go for it here. This is going to be our camp spot tonight. How about this for a camp spot? Certainly beats McDonald's. I'm enjoying it more than that already. <laughs> this is amazing. All of those who laughed at my bedside table being in my car, I've now found a very good use for it. It's now a kitchen table. Do you like my setup? It's pretty cool. It feels very homely actually, apart from all the mud. Other than that, it's, it's, it's decent. All the stuff I need in my car, I'm gonna sleep in there tonight. And then I've got my kitchen area there. I think that's quite cool. And look at that, we're in the middle of a forest. I want to eat really quick, so I'm just having some noodles, coca or coca, no, coca, oriental instant noodles. And also I've got this massive bunch of parsley which I need to eat up, so I'm gonna probably stuff some of that in as well. Ah, yes, food. Noodles. You see, I have a problem with space. There's not much of it, and in order to set up my bed, I need to take everything in the boot out, and then I can blow up the blow-up mattress and then put the uh, duvet over the top. I'll tell you what, that's pretty good for an instant noodle packet. It was very good.
I'm in the car, and I tell you what, it takes a bit more effort than you would imagine just getting in here. Because now I've got my bed set up, I've got nowhere to put all my stuff. So I'm just trying to work out where I place things. So I've got a food bag on my driving seat, and I've got camera bag on my bed. Ah, it's not ideal. Space is the only problem right now. Maybe I shouldn't have brought my camping chair. It wasn't really necessary. We're in. It feels like a, a major achievement every time I get into my car. One positive is that once I'm in the bed, it's quite comfortable. It's just getting there and moving everything around so that I can actually get in the bed, which is hard. Could be worse, eh? Could be worse. Got to look after your teeth because you only got one pair. I mean, you only got one set. Unless you're a kid, then you've still got another chance. <clears throat> I broke the front of my tooth. I uh, tried to bite a piece of metal. I said to the dentist, what can you do to help my broken tooth? And he said, there's nothing you can do. He's got to deal with it. So, look after your teeth, folks. Someone was telling me that if you take your socks off, then your feet actually stay warmer in the night. I'm not really sure of the science behind that, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's mad, I've been here about two hours and I'm already feeling lonely because I got no signal on my phone. I'm thinking like, what do I do? I can't message friends and family, I can't watch YouTube videos. I guess I'm just going to have to go to bed and listen to some music that I've downloaded. There's not much else to do. Good night. Oh dear. It was uh, another cold night. I still haven't had a single good night's sleep in this car. My feet stayed cold. My feet, what, what the flip? My feet stayed warm. Maybe because I took my socks off. But like the rest of my body got really freezing. Windows are completely condensationed up. There must be so much moisture in here. I don't know if you can see this, like whether it shows up, but the whole of my duvet, especially this top bit, it's all gone yellow. It's all like this horrible, oh look at that. But that's happened in the last few days, it's just all gone yellow. Oh, that can't be good. Oh dear. <laughs> this is car life. Um, would I recommend it to anyone? Yes, I would. Just make sure you have a comfortable bed and do it in the summer when it's warm. Then it'll be great. I'm making all the mistakes currently. I'm making the mistakes so you don't have to. You can see what I do and don't do that. Do the opposite. Since you went away, been hanging over. Sorry about that. Just got a bit carried away, that's all. Beautiful view of the trees. In fact, before I do anything else, I'm going to go for a little walk. I can imagine this forest being really good for mushroom foraging in the autumn because there's just moss everywhere. It's obviously really damp and there's loads of these little streams flowing down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think most of these trees are spruce trees, which also are good for mushroom finding because certain species of mushroom live with these particular trees. They have the sort of the scaly bark and the cones are quite long and quite soft compared to like pine cones.
It's nine o'clock now, I've gone for a nice walk. And now I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna go back to the van. I mean the car. I keep I've got van in my head because I'm I'm wishing I had a van basically. But now I'm gonna head back to the car and make some food. If he wasn't confused when he drove past and saw that, then that means I can get away with anything. Anyway, it's that time of day again. We're gonna make an outdoor kitchen. Look, the drawers are really useful. Look at that. No. Instead of using sugar, I like to use honey. This is orange blossom honey, Tesco's finest. I'm gonna take a dollop of that and mix that in. Mmm. I've gone up in the world when it comes to coffee. There's no granules in this. When I made coffee in one of my other videos, I just poured the coffee into the cup and then the water on top and then let the granules sink to the bottom. But you see the problem is, the granules don't normally all sink to the bottom, so you end up just drinking coffee granules, which isn't very nice. We had quite a lot of people in the comments were disgusted by my coffee making skills. So I went to the shop the other day and bought one of these. I think it's called a French press or a cafetier or something like that. But it means you can remove the granules, wow. Cheers from the forest. I often think when I go on a long drive somewhere into the middle of nowhere on my own, I just think like, what, what's the point? Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I isolating myself and going into the woods away from everything? Because it kind of does feel lonely and I do feel lonely being here on my own. But I also get another feeling of peacefulness and calmness. And that also is something that I, I really enjoy. I'm gonna cook up some food and now is actually a good chance to put my new kitchen knives to the test. Now. A few weeks ago, I actually spent some time with a professional knife maker who showed me how to make knives. And I've got them here actually. I bought this like thing to keep my knives in because somehow over the past year, I've accumulated quite a lot of knives. So this one here is one that a guy in Wales actually made for me. His name's Mick and he, he, he made this knife for me. I've got these two here, which are like really good for filleting fish or butchering animals. So if I find roadkill on the roads or if I catch a fish and I need to fillet it, I've got these. They're kind of thin and they're slightly bendy. So they're good for working around the bones of fish. And then here are the knives that I made from scratch, from a block of steel into a kitchen knife. There we go. I'm so pleased with how they turned out. I can see many imperfections, but, um, they do, they do the job and they work and I'm really happy with them. The handles I'm most pleased with. I love the, the bog oak black and the slightly lighter wood as well. What one shall I use? I'm gonna use the small one. I haven't used a small one yet. I'm basically walking around in a mud bath. Oh. Wow. It's so sharp. <laughs> Can't believe it. I have to say, one of my favorite things to do in life is chopping up vegetables with sharp knives. Like if someone said to me, what's your, like, what's your favorite hobby? I think I'd have to say cutting onions. It's just so satisfying. Oh yeah. We got some mushrooms. Shiitake chestnut button mushrooms or closed cut beautiful king oysters although these are quite small ones this morning is going to be a mushroom and pepper fry up oh that one is satisfying
Let's see how fast we can chop a mushroom, shall we? Woo! Blimey. I don't think I chopped my finger at all. Yum. This cool bag has got something very special in it and I'm going to cook it up for lunch today. We are on the road again and I'm really happy to be finally out here in the woods. For me at least it certainly beats stealth camping in like urban places. I find it a lot more peaceful. But I'm not so happy about the fact that I still haven't had a good night's sleep in my car. I can't seem to do it. It also just got really cold, which stopped me from sleeping well. Okay, let this car pass first. That was a nice caddy. Hello. How you doing? What does that mean? Turns out I can't speak to sheep. Sheep. Anyway, today I am really excited because I'm going to be cooking up something really nice for lunch. When I say really nice, I mean gourmet level food. This, you don't even know how excited I am for this. I'm going to be cooking up something which I've wanted to make my whole life. So stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to be doing some cooking in the woods and some more car camping. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you soon.